You okay, little buddy? You, uh... You want a little help? Howdy, folks. Welcome back to Ark Adventures. As I promised, uh, we're going to spend this episode uh, taking out the wolf pack on a bit of a uh, training mission uh, to get their stats up. Because, you know, I want to get them all kind of like London. London's uh, uh, way up there. He's got uh, 1,600 melee and 3,600 health. I, I'd like to start bumping his health a little bit more, too. His melee is just insane right now. But I'd like to get them up in the, you know, over four digits for everything. Uh, Paris, who's close, is you know coming up on 2,000, but nowhere near enough melee. Uh, you've got for Jill, uh, decent health, but nowhere near enough melee. And decent health on Jack, but that needs to go up as well. And the melee is, I've bumped up once already. So uh, we need to get them up there. So we're going to have to do a lot of stuff. Now, a new release has come out, by the way, folks. Um, I don't know if we can see it. There it is. There's the New Year's Eve ball uh, that's dropping. Um, and there's also a new animal out, and we'll deal with them. I don't know if we're going to deal with them this episode or not, but I might be able to deal with the New Year's Eve ball, <laughs> depending upon when uh, I finish recording here, because I'm recording New Year's Eve evening, but that ball isn't expected to drop and give its rewards. I don't even have a clue what the rewards are. Uh, not expected to do that until around midnight uh, my time. It might be 9 o'clock my time, because I'm on the Pacific time zone. I'm on the West Coast. And they talk about it being at 9 o'clock for official servers. Now, I had to execute a command for the unofficial servers to kick that off. And I kicked it off at noon my time. Uh, so they said kick it off 12 hours before. So I think, I'm thinking it's going to be midnight my time. So we're, we're still several hours away. So I'll, I'll try to squeeze that into this recording, guys. But I can't promise it. If not, it'll be in tomorrow's for sure. Or the next one I upload, I should say. Um, but otherwise, let's, uh, let's get prepared to take these guys out. And I wanted to show you... A good way when you're taking a troop out, the worst way you can possibly do it is to, is to tell them all to follow you or even tell them all to follow the one animal because they're all going to bunch up. So instead, what I'm going to do, Paris is tough, so Paris is going to be in the back. I'm going to have Jill be the number two, and I'm going to have Jack follow Jill, and then I'm going to have Paris, if I can get this lined up right. There you go, follow Jack. And then I'm going to tell, <laughs> there we go, tell Jill to follow London. And now let me run around a little bit and you'll see what I, what we got going on here. We got Jill following me and Jack following her and Paris following him. And we got a line now. So that's the best way to do it because they all, uh, they won't bunch up. They won't get uh, crammed in and unable to access them and that sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to offload a couple things, get my gear ready to go, and uh, we'll set on out. Okay, our first stop is going to be a run around our island, the southern island. All right, folks, we're going to head on out on a little cross-country venture here. Try to level these guys up some. I sure hope it doesn't crash. There's the ball. sure hope the server doesn't crash again. Um, with this release, it seemed a little unstable. I've actually been disconnected a couple of times, which is not a good thing. This bridge is going to be interesting. I'll try to angle this so that they all come up here. It looks like they're going to do it. And none of them are going to get stuck in the water. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Wow. Okay, come on back this way, guys. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on, Paris. There you go, girl. All right, let's try that again. 
This time I'll go really slowly so they don't they aren't running when they come up here because then they go leaping. Three wolves are leaping. Okay, go very slowly. Alright, very slowly. Don't leap. There we go. Alright. Now I could probably run till the next bridge. <laughs> that was funny. Alright. Hope you guys uh had a great 2015. I had a really wonderful 2015. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think 2016 is probably going to be pretty fun too. So uh, I hope you guys are going to have uh, a great New Year as well. I really want to see what's in that ball. I think it says something like Welcome 2016 or something. What does it say? No, oh, Arc 2016. Okay. It's really cool. Can't wait till that falls. Definitely going to be online. Whether it's in this video or not, I don't know, guys. So here we go. We're going to run around the island. There'll be some montage -y bits. And when there's something interesting to talk about, I'll stop and talk with you guys. Let's go. Okay, and we're back, and um, I don't know if you saw at the end of that video, but uh, I crashed again, and um, it appears, based on the discussion forums, that there is a bug in this new version. As soon as Raptor Claws appears, everybody gets disconnected, and they can't reconnect until Raptor Claws leaves, which is kind of a bummer. But um, that's what you get for attacking us, you Raptor. Uh, until that happens, I've set the uh, server to be static. It's going to be 10 o'clock forever until... Uh, until I hear that that bug's been fixed. Uh, so, uh, all right, let's continue with our uh, our slaughter fest. Slaughter fest 2015. Well, 16.
And we're back after the training up on the North Island. And uh, Paris is now level 187, which beats London's 181. Paris was a higher level when uh, when tamed, uh, which makes sense. Um, I got Paris up to... Let me go over here and take a look here. 867 melee and tw almost 2,500 health. Pretty good. Pretty good. Doesn't Still doesn't compare to London. <laughs> Who just blows them all away. But London uh, got one level, I think. Or no, London didn't get any levels. Because London is pretty high up there uh, in terms of levels that London can earn. Let's see, we got uh, Jill up to 1,500 health and uh, 600 melee. Not bad. And Jack up to almost 1,000 melee and 1,500 health. So all in all, we got a couple of good combos. Now, I want to extend this pack. I told you that. But I'm thinking maybe I should do it by breeding instead of uh, trying to tame. So I'm thinking Paris and London might be a good duo. I don't know what level. Hopefully it gets Paris, a lot of Paris's level and uh, and some of London's attributes. I'm still not entirely sure when the uh, the characteristics come into play, whether it's the, uh, the tame characteristics or the current characteristics. So we're just going to go ahead and mew these guys and see if they can uh, see if they can mate. All right. Well, she's pregnant. She's gestating. We'll uh, take her over here. Oops, take her over here. <laughs> You're one of the troughs. And uh, actually, I'll bring London over as well. Although I don't think... Yeah, well, London was following me anyway. Hello, London. And I'll just see you these guys. Actually, let's get London right up next to her here. Okay, that'll work. And uh, when she's uh, finished gestating, we'll, uh, we'll see what she gives us. All right? Okay, I'm so excited. Paris is about to give birth, so we're going to see what uh, the stats are on our fifth member of the wolf pack. Let's get that poop out of the way here. We don't want that in the way. We don't want that in the way. Okay, any second now. Is it going to be a level comparable to when we tamed Paris or tamed London or comparable to the levels they are now or what? I don't know because I still don't understand this thing. And how the stats get uh, chosen or what levels get chosen. So here we go. What it's going to look like is pretty much a toss-up because they both look the same. <laughs> Paris and London look pretty much the same. All right, here we go. Okay, Paris. Time to give birth. Push, baby, push. <laughs> and he's there. You can see him. He's there. He's tiny and and just fell through there. Okay, there we go. Imprint. There you go. You are a level 150, which I think is more comparable to London's tamed level. Uh, 1,700 health, 337 melee. Okay. I mean, you know, we can live with this. We can live with this. Let's give you some meat. I'm sure you're hungry. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. Let's disable wandering. And let's actually have you come right over here, if you can. Right in front of Papa. All right. Perfect. Have you stay there. And uh, we'll just keep feeding you food <laughs> until you get to the point where you're uh, able to feed from this trough over here. And I've got tons of, well, not tons of, but lots of raw meat in there. And I'll throw more in before uh, I leave for the night. But uh, welcome to the wolf pack. Welcome to the wolf pack. Baby, what is your name going to be? Baby, baby BMP? Baby BMP. Uh, let's see. Paris and London. Oh, yeah. Let's think of something here. Uh, we will call you Normandy. Normandy. Are you male or female? You're male. Little Normandy. 
Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the pack. All right. I really wish we could have uh, seen what was in the uh, the big ball, but unfortunately, such is life because of the bug. Um, I don't think I'm going to ever see what's in the ball. <laughs> uh, maybe next year. Maybe next year. How's that? And before we go, I did mention the new dino. It's a kangaroo-like dino, and uh, it seems from reading the wiki that he likes rare mushrooms only for taming. So we're up here on a volcano because it's the easiest, safest source for a lot of crystal. Trying to mine as much rare mushrooms as we can, and then we're going to go find one of these guys and see if we can tame them up before we uh, before we quit for the episode. So, I hate throwing away things I've, I've successfully mined, but all I really want is the rare mushrooms, and I can get this stuff anytime, so I pull that out and drop everything else. Anyway, I'm going to go collect a whole bunch of rare mushrooms, and, uh, and we'll go see if we can find a kangaroo. Okay, after hours, literally hours scouring this island, <laughs> I have found one kangaroo. And not even the highest level. Uh, he's in here. I dropped him in. There he is. What are you? You are level 64. Wild male. And, uh, you know, the rare mushrooms are so hard to get, and apparently, according to the wiki, it's going to take a lot, like hundreds, to get a, a 120. I don't want to use those. The second favorite food, apparently, is the plant species X. And I've, I'm wondering how the torpor drops, because I'm hearing it drops pretty fast. So um, I'm also kind of curious, since they like plant species X and wild mushrooms, do they like rare flowers? So I'm going to experiment with that as well. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and knock this dude out. See what it takes to knock him out. I won't go for headshots because he won't give me his head. That's fine. Actually, I'd love it if he comes back this way. Will he fight at all? Or will he run away from me? If I'm right next to him. Come on, run away. Get away from the wall. Ah, oh, there he goes. He's out. Four shots, I think that was. Alright, so. The curious thing about the rare flowers. You see the uh, taming bar says, put food in inventory to tame. And uh, so if you put food in that he likes, that'll go away and say taming. So I put in the rare flower. It doesn't, doesn't happen. So I'll take that out. So I'll go ahead and throw in these guys. And see if he'll tame. Let's throw that over as well. Yeah, it says taming now. I'll gamma up for you guys too. Looks like it's pretty dark. There we go. All right, yeah. So you can see his topor is dropping pretty rapidly. So he's going to need this stuff. 99.9%, .9%, so it is his second favorite food. So pretty decent. We'll have a kangaroo to play with. So I'm going to let this guy tame up. I'll watch his topor, and I'll be back when he's done. All right, he's just about to take his last bite and tame out fully, I believe. And he hasn't used... Oh, there he is. Whoop. <laughs> Got rid of that screen pretty fast. Uh, hasn't used all of those uh, plant species X. So um, what name for a male kangaroo? Um, well, let's just go with the obvious. Hopper. We'll call him Hopper. Actually, you know what? As a, as a pun, we'll call him Dennis. If you know... <laughs> He's Dennis Hopper. Get it? Get, uh, well, it was funny to me. Hello. Oh, I don't have a saddle. That's right. That's right. They have saddles. Come on over here for a second. Show yourself. Okay, you stay here. And uh, actually, I'm going to take you back to the base. Okay, did I get you? I got you. Let's go build a saddle for this thing. I haven't even purchased it. For some reason, I thought you could just ride on them. I guess you can if you're the second passenger. You're riding the pouch. But uh, the primary definitely needs a saddle. There we go. There's my gates. Okay. You are... I dropped you out there? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right, Dennis. Okay, so what kind of saddle is this? Where is this game? Uh, it's a... Uh, man, I don't even remember the name of these animals. It begins with a P, right? Isn't it? Uh, uh, is that it? That's it. Percopetodon. Uh, why can't I not learn it? Why can I not learn it? What's going on here? <laughs> There's no prerequisites. Learn. 
Unable to learn. Learn. Okay. Let's try that again. Pro. Learn. <laughs> well, uh, tune in next episode when we actually figure out why we can't learn Ingrams all of a sudden. And, uh, and then we'll be able to write it. That sucks. <laughs> all right, well, um, we'll have a lot of fun with Dennis next episode, I presume. Um, I honestly don't know what's going on, folks. Sorry about that. But uh, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.